Hello, gentle reader. It is I, Genesis Eve Garcia. I am reading to you from the next chapter in the book, The Daily Observations of a Fat Girl on Her Journey to Try and Lose Weight. This chapter is called Seeing the Doctor. <clears throat> I set up an appointment a while ago to see the doctor. I ran out of antidepressants and realized that because of a new insurance plan, my old doctor was unavailable to me. This was fine. I only saw her once and she wasn't that impressive. She wasn't bad, just not someone I'd fight to see. I went into the office prepared. I had a typed letter from a psychiatrist I'd seen back in 2014 and I typed up a list of all the things I was concerned about. Obesity, depression, gallbladder attacks, nonstop bleeding, and residual Bell's palsy. Because most of these issues stem from stress, I wrote down a list of, list of stressors in my life. Why did I make a giant list for my doctor? Because every time I enter a room to speak to anyone about my own health and my own issues, I break down in tears. I cry so hard that words become completely unintelligible and I forget everything I need to say. So I decided if I lost my words, at least I'd had things typed up. At the doctor's office, I filled out the questionnaire and then we had a productive dialogue. We talked about how my antidepressant meds might be contributing to my weight gain. I had never discussed it, but I have gained about 75 pounds since I started on it nine years ago. We also discussed that it might have outlasted its usefulness. We talked about solutions. The details are boring, but the feeling I got was that this was a doctor who was interested in finding solutions. He had me schedule a follow-up, and we made a game plan. He wants me to seek counseling again to help deal with some of the stress. He talked to me about seeing a nutritionist, but I told him that I am aware of what is healthy and what is not. I'm just not good at choosing it, and that's emotional. He heard me, and we agreed that counseling would be the best way to work on diet right now. I also told him that I had committed to walk one mile every day, and I committed to him that I would add a healthy habit to my daily routine every week. It was exhausting for me. It was fruitful, but the process of looking at my health and habits so closely and identifying all the things that I am feeling and processing left me completely bereft. I left the office feeling like my body would collapse in on itself, but also feeling like I hadn't just wasted an hour and a copay. And that is today's reading from The Daily Observations of a Fat Girl on Her Journey to Try and Lose Weight, written by Genesis Eve Garcia. You should buy it. That would be cool. And then, you know, it would be fun. Okay. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.